And this is my hero's journey. So there was a... This way, too, you know what I'm saying? Chad coming back into the reaction match to everybody. The boom. <laughs> Cornstar tried to expose him, bro. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Who ain't seen nothing about this? Everybody seen a, a few clips, you know what I'm saying? Probably the YouTube video. Probably watched it back a few times. People seen this jump. This jump been doing, the new, going to viral for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna check this video out. I did not watch this video, though. I've been seeing clips on TikTok, you know what I'm saying? About what's been going on, and it's crazy. That's the only thing I could really say about this. You know what I'm saying? But make sure y'all stand blessed. Make sure y'all stand iconic, my nigga. Let's get into his reaction. Situation yesterday where streamer Kai Sinat was basically being held ransom. Virtually, that is, by an OF girl slash corn star named Layla Red. These two apparently had a relationship at some point last year after he met her during a stream. Hey, where you at? I'm in the A2. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jamari, don't get it messed up. The difference between a relationship and a sleeping link is two different things. You don't wanna get them you don't wanna get them to them is two different things, Jamari. You don't wanna you don't wanna combine them bitches, bro. I'm gonna let you know right now, bro. That was no relationship, girl. <laughs> if the bitch got the OnlyFans, there's nothing wrong with OnlyFans because this gonna, what I'm about to say is gonna sound real messed up. But a lot of these girls that got OnlyFans, it's not rifleable. I'm gonna just keep it a bean with you. That's the most honest I can say it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, not with me though. I know. That's why. That's why we here. I'm gonna follow on you. Sell God. And I guess things eventually got deeper for them. And now she is using their time together to try and publicly extort one of the biggest streamers right now. But she's so dumb that she didn't use the blackmail against him correctly. She skipped way too many steps and went right to try- The bit really you- <laughs> The bit really uh, leaked the phone number and that's not even his- I don't even think it's his phone number. If it is, you know bro probably got another phone. But if she really had faked this junk and if it's bro- If it's another random number bro- the calls this man is going to be getting. He had to change that number by the day. You feel me? There's no way. Expose him to the public. Not to even mention this man made her sign an NDA. So a lot of what she has done is illegal. She's saying things like Kai owes her hush money. And that he allegedly even paid for her to sleep with him. Well, I mean, since I'm going to court, I might as well leak the news, the addy, the videos. Bet you I hit that link in my bio. Video coming soon. This woman reminds me a lot of that other corn star that some girls just ah uh, ah uh, oh my gosh how had to expose Zion Williamson last year and went on that ridiculous Twitter tirade where she made herself look absolutely horrible in the process, all in an attempt to expose Zion. That bitch was out here tagging the NBA and Adam Silver and shit, talking about she did a tornado trick on his eggplant, and look at my boy Zion now, balling out once again. Now when it comes to Kai, he did the best thing possible and immediately responded to these allegations and it turned into a pretty great reverse uno moment. So this was the initial post that I saw about this situation. She came forward with this via Twitter where I guess she was pretty much trying to promote her OF page like we saw Juice World's ex-girlfriend do recently. I mean, y'all know these- Bro, oh my gosh. It's like, dang, these type of people don't really be having a heart. That's what it seemed like. I ain't trying to judge. But bro, how do you juice world, bro? Rest in peace to him, man. You know what I'm saying? Girls are absolutely shameless. They'll do anything to get that dollar. And obviously, I'm not gonna show you these pictures because they're actually revenge corn, obviously. But she says full video of me and Kai Sinat, link in bio. It was so good too. And let's be honest, guys, if you see your favorite streamer or rapper or some sort of entertainer famous person, got their tape exposed on the timeline. If your first thought is to run and go watch it, to run and go pay for it, you need okay. to seek some sort of psychiatric help. She also says when Kai know what to do when you come around. And this is where this $5,000 Apple payment allegation comes from, where she claims he was paying for the goodies. Now this is Kai's initial response. He would go on to absolutely flame her throughout the day. Here he's showing his Apple payment history. She saved that Layla Rett in my phone on when Barbara switched to TurboTax? I broke four generations of family tradition with five little words. On God, you're saved as Layla Red in my phone. Kiara Rush, I'm on you now. Kiara Rush, we don't we call you KR now. Alright? Go to no 
November. Stop. Stop. So as you guys can see, they're in the Apple Pay history. Lay the red for $50, okay? And I guess he's basically trying to say here, no, I did not pay to smash some old retired corn star turned OF washed up woman. All I paid for was the trip home. So obviously Kai was beyond outraged in this situation, and he's really trying to go the extra mile here to not only clear his name, but to also expose this corn star. And I guess this was her response to him saying that all he paid for was the Uber, which she says, when the biggest streamer in the world pay for p and lie to hide the truth, lol. She would then go on to share this message, grown men pay for p and listen guys, I know they say all the time to not judge a book by its cover, but if we can learn anything from the last couple videos I've made, it's that sometimes you have to use your brain, and you can just literally sometimes see a woman or see a man, and- And see- Oh dang. Uh, uh I can't- I don't even know if I can say that. Uh, y'all know what I'm about- I don't mean gotta finish that word. Y'all- y'all, uh- How y'all they going, man? Y'all they going straight, man? You know what I'm saying? I've been cool. I just got out uh, cooking and shit, you feel me? They're all about. Now here's where she continues to post this photo of Kaisenat nude in bed. It looks like she took this picture while this man was sleeping, and he basically has his junk out. And yes, this would qualify as revenge corn. She says, trying to sue me after buying is wild. LOL, you go into jail too, clown. You breached the contract, and so did I. Guess your bitch ass a be in a cell right next to me. And she would even take to TikTok to- That's not how it works. Alright. <laughs> All right, Layla. <laughs> what was it, Kiera? Damn, bro. <laughs> ah, damn. Yeah, she need to do her research, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. This video it seems like she don't know what the fuck going Everybody on. Everybody keep asking me about all the dates, all the dates. See, he's not showing y'all shit from this year. I showed y'all last year and this year. He's just showing y'all last year and he's showing from another iCloud. See, that's how dumb people is. It's a whole nother iCloud, shorty. I'm showing proof from our most recent leak up. Which was three weeks ago. Now, to be fair to her, do I think that someone with as much money, clout, and status as Kai Sinat would only have one phone that he's doing Apple Pay on? Absolutely not. Where he paid me to delete anything that I had on him, which was the agreement, and I was cool with that. Wait, so did he pay you to delete information about him, or did he pay you to sleep with him? Because you're alleging two different things. Guys, what do y'all think her overall is? I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I ain't trying to be no nothing. I'm trying to analyze real quick. Because I know his models and OnlyFans members. That's bad, better than... Oh, damn. Preferable, optional, if you want to choose whoever, whoever, you know what I'm saying, look better. You know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I got to type, my nigga. And that's not the first thing I go for. I'm going to keep it a bean. Me, personally, I would give her an 85 overall. You can't give her no 60. I don't think you can give her a 70. If your type is really off based on this, you know what I'm saying? If you think she really chopped in your own opinion, I feel like you could give her in the 70 zone. But at, I, I feel like you kind of dick sucking if you give her a 60, man. She not an ugly bit. She not an ugly one. You know what I'm saying? Plus the body, it kind of add up like the, 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 the Hall of Fame thick badge. You know what I'm saying? Uh, face badge. I'll get that bit silver. Either silver or bronze. But at the same time. The Hall of Fame thick badge, it kind of bring the overall up. That's why I gave it an 85, my nigga. Now, your story really is not adding up. You got to understand, like, I'm in the industry. Everything I get is insurance. Period, point blank. I don't know y'all. I don't do it. And I'm going to always protect myself at the end of the day. So, yes, I did collect insurance. You damn right. Just like he did when he recorded my voice. And the insurance she's talking about is all these different materials that she had to expose him. Like that picture of him laying naked asleep in bed. I mean, when it comes to Kai, he was just an absolute idiot for messing around with someone like this. Like the saying is very true. You lay down with dogs and you're likely going to get fleas. To act like you didn't pay me, bitch, now you got me f***ed up, and now I gotta expose you. So basically what this woman is saying is that she wants to be viewed as a hooker. She wants to be viewed as someone who is down for the pay for play. I don't think that's the flex that she thinks it is. I am about to post a transaction ID for the payment that you just recently made to me. I mean, does anyone really care if Kai went out and was tricking on this chick? Absolutely not. Entertainers, athletes, people of status, they're doing this stuff every single day to all kinds of women. 
Normal women, industry women, corn stars. I mean, for these type of chicks, I have to believe that's kind of like their whole game. Stop acting like you don't know why I'm doing this right now. Everything was cool. This, this kind of these type of females kind of make me scared for like people like me that's trying to go up in life, man. When you go up, man, and you have a lot of money, bro. And God bless you with a lot of money, bro. It's hella more harder or more difficult to find a real female when you at the top versus when you down low. When you are here, nigga, when you a broke nigga like me right now, you can talk to any girl. That mean, I mean, well, I mean, I'm only 19, so like, you you can you know what I'm saying talk to a few bitches. This that the third, they don't got their careers together, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But when you have your career together, nigga, it's hard to find a lot of real ones, bro. It's hard to find a lot of real ones, my nigga. And I'll be down. I don't want to find no, no girl right now, bro. Everybody bops. My you didn't want to pay me my money, my hush money. And that's when it became a problem. You made this a problem. I can't lie to you guys. This has to be one of the dumbest individuals that we've ever seen on my channel. Like, she's trying to expose him, but the whole time she's just exposing herself and her potential mini crimes. Thank you for giving yourself another charge, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> She even went out of her way to leak this man's number. All right, here's the screen record for you guys. Up, down, message. Ooh, didn't have to lie. And this clip right here would actually result in her getting banned from Instagram, which I'm sure like all the other OF girls, when it comes to promoting her page, you know, OF and Instagram go together like bread and butter. That's where they lure in all the simps. Nigga, I swear the clip that I have saw, the clip that I'm looking at right now, this was not the clip that I saw on TikTok. I saw a $5,000 cent and it was two different texts up here. Like, I'm... What? They're like all the other OF girls when it comes to promoting her page, you know, OF and Instagram go together like bread and butter. That's where they lure... I ain't gonna lie, I do sound like it's a setup to, <laughs> with this talk about, or you can come in just you. I'm allergic to dogs, by the way. We, of course, nigga, say he is allergic to dogs, you know what I'm saying? I saw, I, I saw, I saw him speed stream that he said he was alerted to dogs one time but this don't correlate with dogs at all what is she did she say she's bringing a dog the simps where am i tripping well you're definitely not going to get your money now chick as a matter of fact i think you're going to be sending portions of your paycheck to kai sanat for quite some time and honestly crashing out over like five thousand bucks is definitely not f***ing worth it now this is where kai sanat really becomes a savage in this situation he took a page out of 50 cents book and he's being extra petty with the people trying to play with his name so layla i have bought your domain now you might ask what does that mean kai Live on the Zone Worldwide, April 20th, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. Only one can win. It means every time somebody types in Kiara Rush, anytime somebody types in Layla Red, the first website that they would click on is all the lies you told me, all the crimes you've done, all the dumb shit you just put yourself in to f up your life. So no, your OF link won't pop up first. <laughs> no, on how boy anything like that won't pop up first. Oh no 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 no. The top link will be Kiara Rush. Okay, showing everything that you've done. So obviously the man is playing chess while this woman is out here not even playing checkers, okay? This bitch is playing like tic-tac-toe. And this is what you see when you go to these websites that Kai Sinat set up. Kiara Rush. What? We got you, bitch. Okay. <laughs> Every single clip for anybody who messes up. Oh, wait, I don't know Kiara's real name. Hold on, we don't know it. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> no Duh. matter what, for the rest of your life, this will be here. 
I mean, I won't lie to you guys. That is a pretty damn good power play right there. And it I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bro gotta have some lawyers on his team or something, man. Lawyers on his team or something or he try to go to law school. Because I ain't gonna lie, bro. You gotta be... To, to make this type of play, you gotta be on some Shikamaru type shit. Some Shikamaru type shit, bro. To have all of this shit planned out just for just, just for this scenario, my nigga. Kai was even out here smoking on that Layla Red Pack dancing around. I don't know, this whole shit is hilarious. I mean, she really thought she was gonna make him look bad. And she really kinda just turned this into a W for him. And then she has the audacity to try and allege some very serious allegations against him, even if it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek here. Oh, we taking people to court? Well, shit. I'm ready to take you to court, little P. Diddy Jr. You talking about you trying to stay up between one of your homies and all that shit? Don't forget about I got all that. Is that, ain't that her job? I thought she was an OnlyFans. Or am I tripping? Do she work at Walmart or something? Because I swear. You calling him P. Diddy. Bro, if anything, you should be happy because he's selling you. You you damn near sold yourself. She damn near sold herself. That's her job. That's her day to day. You feel me? What does that even mean, bro? So she's calling him P. Diddy Jr., insinuating that he is a trafficker because he went to one of his boys and told people what she's all about. I mean, clearly she prides herself on being pay for play, but now she wants to act like it's some sort of Diddy situation when it's convenient for her. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Come on now, y'all. Of course he was gonna come back with a story saying he gonna sue me. How else was he gonna look good to the blog? I mean, you like a certified trick right now. Duh. And you're what? A certified hooker and proud of it? Truly do not understand how an individual can be this low IQ. I mean, just look at the face there. It's not screaming Harvard graduate. But I want to know what you guys think about this situation down below. Just based on the way the two of them are talking, I think that Kai really does have the checkmate here if he really wants it. And I think he is going to exercise his option to be as petty as possible for a very long time against this woman. Like at the end of the day, we know that people who have excess amounts of money and excess amounts of fame are likely paying for women to be with them in one way or another. Even if it's not like a physical money payment thing, it might be a status thing. It might might be a Birkin bag thing. I'm just saying this type of situation is not rare at all. But y'all let me know what you got. I'm trying to see where she gonna go with these. <laughs> I'm trying to see where she gonna go to these. I, like, if she actually did lie, which I'm, I'm, I'm kind of assuming she did. Oh, damn. The truth always gonna come out. Best believe. God always does his thing. Make sure you stand blessed. Make sure you stand iconic. Catch y'all on the next one. Love in the eyes of the kid that was lost and it turned to a rebel. Mama don't give up on me